Hello friends, today we will be doing an assembly of a powerful gearbox with the help of a cheap 6 volt DC motor. As you all know this is a small DC motor with very little torque and a better efficiency in respect to charging. So this motor can be used to generate a good amount of torque with the help of a good combination of gears and at the same time we can reduce the RPM to a consistent level so that we can use this in an RC car. So let's start. As you know this is the housing of the gearbox which I have 3D printed. Like every time I have done a mistake, I just inserted this DC motor before my starting my camera. And later I realized that it is almost slide fit into the housing and I decided not to remove it because once it is fit in place, it will reduce the vibration and I need not to screw them up. So sorry for that guys but i will explain the further parts to you as you can see this is the shaft of the motor projected into the housing these two rods also i have inserted for mounting my gears and here it's going to be the driving shaft of this gearbox which pass through this hole and can be used to drive the tires okay so let's start the assembling process first of all let's assemble the drive shaft gear as you can see i have 3d printed this gear with a slot to lock my drive shaft and like the last time, this time I am going to make everything locked into position rather than just being slide fit. So let's start the assembly. As you can see, this is the drive shaft and we have got a slight cut into it. And we are going to place the location, sorry, we are going to lock the location of the drive shaft with the help of this piece of nut so let's see how we are going to do it just insert this drive shaft into this gear and place this locking metal rod here and just insert it see how beautifully it just fit into position we can apply a considerable amount of torque to this gear without any problem see it is locked into position let's mount the driving shaft for the motor Okay guys, I have to sweat a little to insert this small gear into position because it is placed deep into this housing and I wasn't able to apply some pressure over it. Somehow I managed to place that motor driving gear into position. Now let's place the other gears. This is the first gear which is coming in contact with our motor. Okay. So the first gear is in place. Okay. 
so the drive shaft so the drive shaft is placed now let's place the joining gear that is the second gear into position as you can see all the gears are beautifully arranged into position now I will show an open demonstration of the same before sealing it with the cover. Okay, the one and disconnected. Wow. See how perfectly and smoothly our gear system is working. Only the third gear is having some vibration. Only because the holes are made a bit large in order to facilitate the smooth movement of the drive shaft. Otherwise, all the gears are working perfectly quiet. As you can see, Rods are lubricated beautifully. Now let's place the yes. Now let's seal our gearbox with the help of this Let's just, just click it beautifully place storage further we can screw the cover with the help of these screw holes in order to seal the container as you can notice the vibration as well as the noise has reduced a lot after applying the grease now our gear is working perfectly and buttery smooth the next step let's test the top of this gear box with the help of some wheels see as you can see the gear box is free to rotate and move in any angle it is not showing any kind of lag on any angle. You can see a hole over here. It was a perfect mistake. Actually, it was a designing mistake while I was designing the box in T360. Later, I realized that this all can facilitate me in lubricating the system without opening the cover. As you can see, it is directly accessible to the central gear that is the second gear and the both the leads that is the both the gears of the central gear is accessible from here that is okay friends this is a small arrangement which i have made just to demonstrate the torque of the our geared motor or the gearbox so let's check how this small motor lift a heavy spanner without any problem
see how beautifully and easily our gear box lifted such a heavy spanner without any problem isn't it amazing guys wow okay friends so right now you have just seen how powerful our gearbox is with the help of this small 5 6 volt dc motor now we can use this gearbox directly onto the tires in a four in a, sorry in a two wheel drive mechanism in our rear wheel drive drive shaft or else we can use this dual shaft to power the four wheel drive mechanism with the help of a universal joint so i am just planning to play the bigger one so in the next episode we will be doing a differential gearbox or the differential axle to power a vehicle in a four wheel drive mechanism so tune up guys see you in the next episode bye